IVP Sports presents the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Buckeye Toyota, Bay Food Market, Fairfield County Adam H., The Savings Bank, Fairfield Medical Center, The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield Federal, The Carriage Company, Fairfield DD, Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, Dagger Law, and North Body Shop. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Interphase Video Productions High School Basketball Game of the Week. I'm Jared Stewart alongside Tim Shoemaker. Tonight, we're at Tom Petty Gymnasium at Bloom Carroll High School for a matchup between the Bloom Carroll Bulldogs and the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights. Two teams with identical records coming in. Bloom Carroll 12 and six overall, eight and three in the Mid-State League Buckeye. Bishop Reedy 12 and six, seven and three in the Central Buckeye. However, Bloom Carroll, winners of two in a row. Bishop Reedy, losers of two in a row. Yeah, you know, I had an opportunity to speak with both coaches and um, Bloom Carroll's been really playing well. You know, got off to a slow start, you know, come in, got players in late due to an excellent football season, and uh, but they've played really well. Bishop Reedy, kind of a shock, you know, Saturday night. You know, they, they were leading in that game and just had a poor second half. And, you know, here you are. You, the, the beauty of it all is you get to come back on Monday. Right. You don't have to stay in that mode very long. You come back and get a play again. Bishop Reedy led by Tony Basuti. He's in his sixth season at Bishop Reedy, 30th overall coaching, and 28-1 uh, and one last year. They lost in the state semifinal. Uh, but he's lost 80% of his scoring offense from last year to graduation. Yeah, and that's always a big adjustment. And because what happens is not only is it just the scoring, but people change roles. And even if you have players back, they're in different roles. And uh, it's not that they've had a bad season. They've had a good season, actually. But with the tournament draw coming up this weekend, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes tonight. Bloom Carroll coached by Ryan Davis in his second season here at Bloom Carroll, 23rd overall. He spent 15 years as a head coach at Chesapeake. He's over. He's a won over 300 games as a head coach. And his offense led by his own son, Carson Davis, six foot eight, but not the tra traditional uh, presence underneath the hoop. Carson likes to come out and shoot the threes. Yeah, in this day and age, you know, the, the game is about the three point line, and but I still feel that you have to attack the basket. You have to increase opportunities for free throws and drawing fouls. That has to be just part of your offense. And, yeah. and I know that Coach Davis feels like they're, they have good skill, but he, he says our skill has to get even better. Let's talk about particulars, what these coaches told you when you now, talked to them this week. First of all, for Bishop Reedy, uh, some of their strengths, their, their team defense is very solid. They're in sync. But balanced scoring, we were looking down at, yeah. at, their, at their stats. I mean, they've got 16.6 points, but after that, 9.7, 9.0, 8.6, 6.6, doesn't get much more balanced than that. No, and, and that makes you tougher to prepare for, honestly. When you have multiple people able to score the ball, it's a big advantage. Of course, uh, areas to improve and things that points of focus in this game. He said that Bloom Carroll's very scrappy, and that, that concerns him a little bit. Well, the thing about Bloom Carroll is, you know, they, they want to, you know, as the lights go out here, I, I, somebody pulled the plug or something. But uh, the, the bottom line is Coach Davis wants to play more of an up-tempo and a pressure defense, but they've had a couple injuries, some people are out, and it's a little harder to do that unless you have some depth. For Bloom Carroll, Coach Davis told you, one of their biggest strengths is obviously this is a very athletic team with a good mix of guards and bigs. And I mean, we knew they're athletic because most of these guys are the football players who for two years in a row have made deep runs into the state tournament. Right, we've seen three or four of those kids that are gonna play tonight on the football field. Yeah. One of his concerns though is basketball maturity. What, what does he mean exactly by basketball maturity? What do they need to correct there? Not just understanding the game itself, but you know, time and score situations, along with how do you respond to things in the game? How do you make adjustments on the floor? You, 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 the coach can't be a raving lunatic screaming at all the time. They, the players, and I, I think he's really happy with where the seniors have come and taken over some of that. and, and 
provide leadership on the floor, but the younger players, he said, still need to step up and understand that. Points of focus, he said that we need to play as a unit, and he said that Bishop Reed is very good on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Yeah, you know, he recognizes that. He saw them play, and, you know, he, he knows what they're about, and, and uh, I think we're in for a doozy tonight, Jared. Tonight's tip-off is brought to you by North Body Shop, providing quality customer service, parts, and reliability since 1979. Owner Mark North will provide you with a free written warranty on each estimate. That's Mark North of North Body Shop. He'll treat you right. It's the Bulldogs and the Silver Knights about to do battle here at Tom Petty Gymnasium. Of course, Tom Petty in the house tonight. He spent how many years here as a head coach, Hugh? Um, it seemed like an eternity. <laughs> Won lots of championships. There's Coach Petty right there in the Titleist hat. I, I, he spends a lot of time on the golf course now, doesn't he? Well, he always did as far as working the golf course, but he, you know, he's one of the best in, in, that's ever come through Ohio as far as high school coaches, in my opinion. Carson Davis to jump center for the Bulldogs. It's Caden Schaefer for the Silver Knights, and Bishop Reedy will control it. Tip control. By Left side, they'll go to Micah Reed. Germany, averaging 16.6 a ball, per ball game. Then he'll get it right side to Sharif. We've mentioned their very balanced scoring, and here's Sharif already putting it up and in. Nice pass, getting it to him by Schaefer. Here's Trice Schaefer to get it right side to Wyatt. Now back to Davis. Skip pass back over to Chafin. Nobody underneath the bucket for the Bulldogs. Everybody out around the perimeter. Here's Davis again, directing some traffic. Yeah, just a five, what they call five out, Jared. A lot of passing, cutting. Now they're going to go to a set. A little rub cut and a ball screen. You know, we talked about the balance scoring of, of Bishop Reedy. For Bloom Carroll, they've got quite a bit of balance in there as well. After Carson Davis is 14.9 points a game, I mean, they've got guys up around eight or nine, very balanced. Once again, driving to the hoop. Youthman Sharif couldn't get the shot to go. It's out of bounds back to Bloom Carroll. Here's a Dagger Law replay. I, I faked you. Maybe. Out. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Early on here, Bishop Reedy up 2 0. Just under seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Jet Jones swings it around the right side. And a whistle. And we have an injury down on the baseline for Bloom Carroll. That's Trice Chafin. I didn't see what happened. I didn't what see what happened. happened. No, I didn't either. He definitely looks like he's in some pain. Coaching staff from Bloom Carroll heading over to check him out. The trainer was immediately there from Bishop Reedy. Here's a replay. Trice is number zero. I think he was just trying to get off the court there. He, he, I think it's a leg injury of some sort. Looks like the right, ooh, right there. Watch this right, oh, yeah. Turned that right ankle. Yeah. And then just did everything he could just to get off the court. And Trice is averaging 8.7 points a game as a junior. Good to see him up on his feet. Bloom Carroll will get Aiden Scholes off the bench to replace Aiden Trice. He is a five foot 10 sophomore. And the good news is Trice walking back to his bench yeah. doesn't look to, to be limping too much. Now, might, might have looked you, worse than it was. It yeah, sometimes when you tweak them, Jared, they, you know, you just <laughs> it's a shock to your system. Yeah. And uh, hopefully if he can stay on, stay on it, it'll you know, reduce the swelling. Coach, there he goes. Coach Davis' assistant coaches, Coach Truex, Coach Mitchell, quickly over to him to uh, get him some assistance. We're back underway here as... Aiden Schultz checked in for Chafin. Here's Truex at the top of the key. Right side now to Schultz. He'll swing it to Wyant. Dump it down to the block to Park Truex. Truex backs his way in. Goes strong to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Andreas Gordon. Here come the Silver Knights up 2-0. Dump it down in to, youth, to Sharif. And Sharif, once again, little baby hook, Sharif. scores it. He's tough in there. Yeah, well, he established himself, you know, and made himself an available receiver in the post and just did what he does. He's left-handed, took his time, and finished. He is averaging 9.7 points a game, already with four here tonight. Davis swings the left side, three put up for Jet Jones. No good. Aiden Schultz a rebound.
Wyatt will bring it back out, reset an offense. Clock rolling down to 538 in the first quarter, 4-0 Silver Knights. Nice move there by Wyant. Shot was no good, rebounded by Sharif. Here's a three ball put up, no good for Micah Germany, who's their leading scorer at 16.6 per game. Davis thought he was going to take the three, found a nice wide open Park Truex. His shot no good. Rebounded by the Silver Knights. Here they come quickly up the floor. Gordon just worked his way under the hoop and scores it. Two points, Gordon. Andreas Gordon. The junior, we mentioned 80% of their scorers from last year's state semifinal team graduated, but they've had a lot of guys who've stepped up this year and filled those roles. Here's Davis driving to the elbow, dumps it down into Wyant, and Wyant gets the Bulldogs on the board. Man, he, he's really improved this year according to Coach Davis. He's really stepped his game up. He looks, he looks very comfortable out there right now, Jared. Jackson Wyant, the five foot ten senior, averaging nine point four points a game. Youthman Sharif now spin move inside the paint, scores it, and he's fouled. Six foot four sophomore. Foul is on Carson Davis, his first. Davis called for the foul. Yeah, watch here. There's a dagger law replay. Watch this move. He just. He's got some good moves, good feet for a big man. Yeah, but look at the reverse. He took a big step, Jared. Covered ground, got it on the glass. Back to live action. Free throw is no good. Rebounded by Bloom Carroll. Wyatt kicks it out. Park Truex takes the three. Got it. Three-pointer, Park Truex. Pulls him back to within three at 8-5. 4-0-2 and counting here in the first quarter. Germany walks it up. They'll swing it right side. Gordon lost the handle, and a foul going to be called on Jet Jones. Foul is called on the Bulldogs. Number three, Jet Jones, his first team second. So Micah Germany will inbound from underneath his own hoop. Comes into Schaefer. Right back to Gordon for a shot but no good but a nice put back by Caden Schaefer. Yeah good job by Schaefer covering from A to B to get the basketball. Coach Davis wants a timeout. He sees his team down 10-5. Timeouts tonight are being brought to you by the Carriage Company located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. You can check out their website at carriagecompany.com and as we are into this timeout if we can get a shot down into the huddle you see some, some of the Bloom Carroll players wearing a pink shooting shirt that they've started wearing some this year. It says hoop for coop on the front of it. And uh, this is for a special young man here at Bloom Carroll, fifth grader, Cooper Shirk. His grandparents own Shirky's uh, Pizza here in Carroll. He uh, found out uh, during football season that he uh, had a cancerous tumor in his stomach and uh, just he's been battling and battling and actually got to go out. They raised some money for him and actually uh, as part of a special wish got to go out and meet Patrick Mahomes and play catch with them and uh, went to a, an event that Patrick uh, had and we just want to wish the best to Cooper and uh, his family as he's, uh, he's, he's definitely a fighter and a battler and we got a chance to talk to Coach Brett Mitchell about it. His son is actually a, uh, a, a teammate and a classmate of, of Cooper so uh, hearts and prayers go out to Cooper Shirk and his family and good to see the, uh, the high schoolers supporting him with those shooting shirts tonight. Out of the timeout, Bloom Carroll with the basketball. Jackson Wyant down 10 to five. Takes a screen from Davis. Davis looking for the ball back, but it's stolen away. Here comes Andre, or, or uh, check that Caden Schaefer. Can't get the shot to go, but he's gonna go to the free throw line and get two shots. That was called on Park Truex. I think that was Andreas Gordon. It was Andreas Gordon, wasn't yeah. it? Actually talked to his father on the way in tonight. Yep. First one's up and good. Yep. Good looking young point guard. Yes, he is. Already with three points tonight. Second one, no good. Davis the rebound. Davis will just bring it up himself. How often do you see a six foot eight player in high school that can handle the ball and shoot threes like 
Carson Davis. He's very comfortable on the perimeter and very skilled. This one's way out there, no good. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. They get it right side to Schultz. Here's Truex on the drive inside the paint. Has it stripped and stolen away. Conlon Dent ended up with it. Silver Knights with the lead in the basketball. Germany back to Schaefer for three, and he got it. Three pointers. That's good Schaefer. ball movement. Quickly up the floor come the Bulldogs. Shot wouldn't go. Park Truex the rebound. His putback wouldn't go. Still fighting for the rebound, and it's going to be out of bounds to Bloom Carroll. Yeah, good Boy, they're job. They're having all kinds of shooting troubles tonight. Right now, just not going in, but a great job of pushing the ball after a score and then yeah. getting on the boards and getting extra shots. Good hustle by Park Truex. Here's a wide open three. No good for Jackson Wyatt, rebounded by Bishop Reedy. Jared, both these teams played Saturday night. Nobody wants to hear any excuses, but there sometimes that's hard to recover as players. Yeah. Now to go give them a little uh, matchup 2-3 here look. Gordon gets it right side to Schaefer. Into Sharif. Scores it, and he's fouled. Yeah, uh, the best thing what he did, he was indecisive, Jared. Straight line to the basket with strength. He's a strong, strong Bash young player. Foul is called on Aiden Schultz. And Youthman Sharif already with eight points in the game going back to the free throw line. I mean, Reedy has not scored 50 points the last two games, and they, they've got 16 here in the first quarter. Yeah. Wow, that was a good hustle play by Conlon Dent, stealing it away. Three in the corners, no good. Sharif the rebound. His putback, no good. Gets his own rebound again, and a second shot, no good. Jet Jones brings it up for the Bulldogs. Going to take it all the way to the hoop. It's blocked. Sharif the rebound. We're back and forth we go. Off-balance jumper, Andreas Gordon. And Coach Davis using a second timeout here in this first quarter as the Bulldogs trail 18 to five. Watch this Daggerlaw replay. He just outran him he got back bumped. down the court. He just got bumped a little bit and jumped up and shot it. Let's give a big shout out to Buckeye Lake Marina. If you're looking for a new boat, a great pre-owned watercraft, or a place to get parts for your boat, Buckeye Lake Marina has it all. More information can be found at BuckeyeLakeMarina.com. We mentioned Coach Ryan Davis spent uh, several years down at Chesapeake where he was the head coach, 15 years to be exact, all the way down on the river. 300 wins overall in his second year here at Bloom Carroll. They, uh, you mentioned in pregame, they got off to a slow start. Of course, that being, you know, <laughs> obvious reasons. Uh, most of his players were still on the football field uh, and got to practice late, but they've picked it up ever since. They have. They've, they've, you know, just right now, they've tonight they got to get a little more focused here. Yep. They've not shot well, like you said. Got to get a little more assertive. And we've got a whistle and a foul away from the basketball on the Silver Knights. It's called on Andreas Gordon. His first. Ricky number three, Andreas Gordon, his first. So Jet Jones will inbound. The lob comes in to Carson Davis. Get it inside to Truex. Truex working hard in there on the paint and puts it up two and in. Yeah, just too strong. Just backed him down, got it off the board. 18 7. There's this little matchup, Jared. Really a 2-3, just bringing the guards out to apply a little pressure on the point. Gordon drives to the elbow. Yeah. He's got a nice looking shot. Well, that's a great job. Zono makes it look easy. Tack the gap on reversal. Gordon, Jumped up and shot it. Gordon has seven points of his own. 20 to seven, Reedy on top. Here's Wyant. Get it to Truex. Trying David to post Davis courses, has, yeah. yeah, he's gotten down on the block now. Yeah. And lost the basketball foul, going to be called on Bishop Reedy. Youthman Sharif has called for it, Foul his first. The Silver Knights, number 32, Youthman Sharif, his first team second. 
Henry Larger comes into the ball game. He'll replace Sharif. He'll get a little, probably a 19 second break here. Yeah. 19 seconds to go in the first quarter. Inbound comes into Davis. Oh, they were swinging it around to the right side. And Wyant was trying to find Schultz. Schultz went the other way, and the back pass just went sailing out of bounds. Talked about that the other day. One zigs, and you thought he was zagging, yeah. and there's what it does. It ends up in the stands. So 13 seconds to play in the first quarter. 20 to 7, Bishop Reedy. We're down to 8 seconds. They need to go here. Yeah. Down to 6. In the corner. Oh, he almost took the shot. One second, three put up and in for Micah Germany. Germany. Wow, 23 to seven. Bishop Reedy scorched the nets in the first quarter. Yeah, just a really impressive offensive quarter for them. And balanced, as we mentioned in yeah. the pregame. I mean, Caden Schaefer has five points in the first half. Then you look at Andreas Gordon, he's got seven. And you, uh, Youthman Sharif with eight. And then Germany with that three there at the end of the quarter. They, I mean, they just, they're shooting really well. Meanwhile, Carroll just having some struggles offensively. They have. They've uh, not really gotten much attack to the basket. And when they did, they missed some shots. Uh, their effort's good. Yeah. Um, Got to get a little better spacing offensively, Jared, to make, make Reedy's a good defensive team. And they've got to make them guard space. You know, there's a saying that you can guard people, but it's tough to guard space. Yeah. And uh, I think he's got to spread them out a little bit to give them a little more room to attack. Bishop Reedy currently sits uh, number three, at th or rather in third place, in the Central Buckeye League. That's uh, the former Mid-State League Ohio. Right, a lot uh, of it. Four yeah. and three in the league, 12 and six overall. For Bloom Carroll, they're in second place uh, right behind Tays Valley at eight and three and 12 and six. Yeah, that was off of, uh, I, I, I believe there was a typo on the site that had the Central Buckeye League. They, so they're eight, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's seven teams, so you got 12 league games because right. you play everybody. Right. So they've got two more next week. I think they're seven and three right behind Academy and maybe Woodland Christian. Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, Bloom Carroll in second place uh, right behind Tays Valley, who Fairfield Union knocked them off the other night. Boy, what, a, what an interesting yeah. season Fairfield Union's had as Park Truex has his shot blocked from behind. But how about, I mean, one of the games I had starred on Bloom Carroll's <laughs> schedule was uh, just on January 20th. They beat Fairfield Union 30-4. to I'm sorry, 57-21 at halftime. Yeah. It was 30-4. to Yeah. And Fairfield Union scored 79 the other night. Yeah, and then Fairfield Union comes <laughs> back. They must have used that as a rallying cry because they've had some big wins and some big individual performances in the last, last couple games. Knocked off Taze Valley, who's... See, they're just doubling him right away. Truex inside the paint. Nice, nice pass. backdoor cut and pass. Two-pointer. Jet, Jet Joe Jones. scores it. Park Truex found him. Yeah, they were a little more aggressive that offensive possession. A little better job getting what they wanted. Got a foul and a basket out of it. Andreas Gordon gets it right side to Dalton Miller. Swinging around to Germany and back to Miller. Nice patience from the Silver Knights offense. That's nice great. quick ball movement, and Conlon Dent scores it. Yeah, Dent. that interior passing, that's outstanding right there. I mean, I know that we're, you know, more than halfway through the season, but you would never know it that this is pretty much a whole new starting five from last year. It is. They are, uh, you know, one of the things that Coach Basuti told you was that they are, you know, they're, they're in sync. And they definitely seem that way, especially. Yeah, watch here. Watch the little flash right to the open spot. But he didn't hold the ball. He got it to the guy coming from the, they call it the half spot, dead spot, whatever you want to call it. Super basketball versus his own. Conlon Dent was called for the foul for the Silver Knights. That's his first. 25 to 9 is the score. Jackson Wyant gets it left side to Jones. Now Park Truex at the top. Here's Davis. He'll just take the three and got it three over the top of Ethan Sharif. Yeah, you got to respect his ability to do that. We were talking about that before the game. He's probably shot more threes than anybody else on the Carroll yeah. team. 25 to 12. Their problem is really, you know, right now just getting a stop. Sharif had his shot maybe partially blocked by yeah. Davis. And Davis gets the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. Jones, 
Right side now to Truex. Truex to the corner to Schultz. See, they haven't got it reverse, Jared. It's hard to play. There you go. When you play on one half of the floor, it's easy to defend. Truex, again, strong, but couldn't get the shot to go. Rebounded by the Silver Knights. Right side, Mike in Germany, swinging it left side all the way down to the corner, and tipped and stolen away by Aiden Schultz. 25-12, 5-16 to play in the first half. Look at Sharif coming out and playing some D. Well, he's agile. Yeah, he definitely is. Yes, he, he, he moves well for a sophomore. He's got a nice body. Davis kicks it back out to Park Truex for three, in and out. Rebounded by Henry Larger. Here is Larger in the corner. Germany takes a long range three and got it. He's got range. Pointer, Germany. You know, Coach Masuda said he's probably the most improved player in the league this year, in Central Ohio this year. That's a, that's a heck of a comment. Yeah. There's a lot of good players in Central Ohio. Would you say he was? He's like eighth man eighth last man year, seventh or eighth year. man. Played off the bench on that regional championship team. And averaging 16.6 .6 points a game yeah. this year. He's a good looking player. Yes, he is. He and Gordon together make a good tandem. Lots of contact there, and a foul's going to be called on Jet Jones. That'll be his second. Watch this dagger ball replay. How far well, look out where he is, he is. yeah. It's NBA three right there. Yeah, but nothing but string music, as they say. Yeah. For the Silver Knights, number 24, Eli Brickner. So Jones will stay in with those two fouls. Twenty-eight to twelve, four fourteen, and counting here in the first half. Sharif skips it out. Schaefer for three, no good. Rebounded by the Silver Knights, but he tossed it in as he was falling out right into the hands of Carson Davis. Here come the Bulldogs, stolen away by Sharif. Here comes Andreas Gordon, lays it in. Gordon with the basket. And we have another injury on the other end. Jet Jones was down and slow to get up, so they will get Caleb Hinkle in for Jet. He's holding his side. They've already lost Trice Chafin tonight to an injury. We have not seen him come back out. The hope is that maybe he's in the trainer's room getting it taped up and maybe be able to come back in the second half. In the corner, it's Schultz. Yeah, it's just, it's just too tight, Jared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Their spacing is just too tight. A couple sophomores on the court right now for the Bulldogs. Here's Truex. He'll drive inside the paint. Had it stripped away. And a traveling violation going to be called as Caden Schaefer just lost his footing. Well, Reedy does a really good job of getting in the gap, taking a dribble drive away. It's a really outstanding yeah. job. They're, they're solid defensively. It looks like a zone. And if your man defense is good and it's on one side of the floor, it should look like one. Inbound comes in to Wyant. They'll swing it around. Jet Jones. Jones nice move. saw the opening, got the pass to Carson Davis. His turnaround jumper no good. Rebounded by Sharif. 305 and counting here in the first half. Bishop Reedy up 30 to 12. Germany high off the glass and in. And a timeout for Bloom Carroll. Well, I mean, they've really, they've had no answer to, to Reedy's offense. They have not. Not at all. Looking at these uh, the two team schedules uh, for the remainder of the season. First of all, for Bishop Reedy, they will have Marysville. Worthy, uh, they play Marysville at home. Then they'll go to Worthy to Christian, and they'll finish out the season with Whitehall. For Bloom Carroll, they have Amanda Clear Creek, Hamilton Township, and Circleville. So both these teams looking at uh, possibly 15 or more wins for the right. season. No, they're, both teams have had nice season. You know, tonight, Reedy's just really on, yeah. and, and Carroll's just not quite in sync yet. Yeah. You know, we talked about being in sync for Reedy's defense. Right now, Carroll's just, uh, you know, talk about the spacing and, the, you know, just understanding how to 
spread the offense and spread the defense out so you can have dribble drives and lane attack. Um, they're just struggling a little bit with that right now. Had a good look there at Coach Tony Basuti from Bishop Reedy. 30 years <laughs> coaching high school basketball. Several years, uh, not uh, he's only in a sixth year here at uh, Bishop Reedy. What's uh, what's the rest of the, the past? Well, you know, he was at DeSales. Uh, I know he's a couple years at New Philly, and then like, I believe, 16, 18 years at Dublin, Sciota. So wow. he's got a lot of background in uh, known Coach Basuti for a long time. Um, good man, works hard at the game, and. Uh, how many games have you coached against him? I don't remember ever. Really? Believe it or not. In all those years? No, nah, all those never. Stops? Nah, it's just kind of funny how things work yeah, sometimes. Right. Truex gets it right side to Jet Jones. Now down in the corner. Get it inside there you go. to Davis. Yeah, there you go. Go to the basket with it. Rebounded by Sharif. Germany. Going back to playing man-to-man -man here. Nice little drive and shot inside the paint, but couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Davis. Here come the Bulldogs. Wyant at the elbow. Back to Truex. This time, Wyant will take the three and drain three it. Three-pointer, Jackson Wyant. Jackson with five points in the game. 32 to 15. Yeah, good patient, right, patience right there in that set, that, off, that offensive possession. They're going to have to start getting some of those to fall a little more often if they want to try to get back in this one. There's plenty of time left. Carson Davis swats that one. They'll get it back for a three. No good for Miller, Dalton Miller, rebounded by the Bulldogs. Park Truex gets it ahead to Jones. Now left side, it's Wyant. Down to a minute 25 to play here in this first half. Wyant on the drive inside the paint, and it's swatted, but it'll be out of bounds, staying with Bloom Carroll. There's another Dagger Law replay. Good ball fake right there. And he still got it. He still got it. Yeah. Didn't leave his feet. It's the advantage of being 6'8". <laughs> Sharif steals it away, and Youthman Sharif <laughs> lays it up and in. Two-pointer, Sharif. I thought maybe we'd see a big dunk there. I don't know. He was thinking about it, but I think he thought better. They all count the same. Truex, high off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Gordon. Under a minute to play in the first half, 34-15. Silver Knights on top. Sharif has it stripped and stolen away. And there's a yeah, foul. Yeah, that's not a good foul. Andreas Gordon going to be called for it. That's his second. Foul is on number three for the Silver Knights, Andreas Gordon. His so Coach Pasuti will get Henry Larger second. off the bench to check in. Henry Larger checks back into the game for the Silver Knights. 43 seconds and counting here in this first half. Wyant takes the screen from Davis. Now they're showing a little 2-3 here, Jared. Give him a little zone to Carroll. Truex gets it back to Wyant. Skip pass to Jones. Now Davis in the corner, three no good. Rebounded by Larger. Down to 16 seconds. Run it down to eight. You know, you and I have talked about this before. Yep. Run it to eight. Germany took it himself, lost it out of bounds, but it went off to the Bulldogs. So Bishop Reedy will have it underneath their own hoop with 4.9 showing on the clock. Quickly right back to Germany. His shot's no good, and it's out of bounds with 0.4 on the clock. This will have to just be a tip. Truex from three-quarters court can't get it to go, and... An outstanding first half for Bishop Reed. He has them up 34 to 15. Shot they, lights out and played really good they defense. They did. They're really a solid team. And like I said, Carroll, I'm not sure that's uh, what the performance Coach Davis is looking for, but uh, see what they do when they come out here in the second half. We're going to take a timeout. We come back. We'll have some first half stats and analysis, and then all of the play-by-play -play action of the second half on the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stay with us.
Fairfield Federal. When it comes to our customers and our community, we go above and beyond to help. Our people make the difference. Personal or business banking, whatever you need, we take it seriously because we know you do. Stop by today at any of our three locations and see why the difference is clear. Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan specializes in banking that revolves around you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Stephanie Taylor with Habitat for Humanity of Southeast Ohio. Here at Habitat for Humanity, our mission is simple. We bring the community together to build strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter. Achieving this mission is made possible with the support of generous local partners like the Buckeye Cares program. That means Buckeye will make a donation with every vehicle sold this month. From all of us at Habitat for Humanity, we say thank you, Buckeye, for once again offering your generous support. The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Where can I find advanced heart care? When you choose Fairfield Medical Center for your heart care, you'll find confidence in our expertise and peace of mind in our compassion. Your health is important, and our heart and vascular experts specialize in the latest technology and treatments to keep you feeling your best. Whatever you're searching for, you can find it at Fairfield Medical Center. Hi, I'm Carol Whittington, and I would like to invite you to stop by Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, located at 1540 Hubbard Drive in Lancaster. We are a small family-owned business and have been servicing the Central Ohio and Hawking Hills area since 2003. Graduations with a personal touch, weddings with a personal touch, corporate events with a personal touch. Please call us today for all your party rental needs, 740-689-6991. Swing into the carriage company and check out our sweet deals. If you're looking for the best selection of clean, quality used vehicles, look no further than the carriage company. You'll feel secure with your purchase, knowing all vehicles undergo an extensive safety and service check prior to the sale. And all vehicles can be viewed online at carriagecompany.com. The Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. Sweet! We're back at Tom Petty Gymnasium at halftime. Bishop Reedy leads Bloom Carroll 34 to 15. Let's take a look at some first half scoring. First of all, for the Bloom Carroll Bulldogs, it's Jet Jones with two points. Carson Davis has three. Jackson Wyant with five. And Park Truex with five. Again, it's Jones two, Davis three, Wyant five, and Truex five. For the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights, Caden Schaefer finished the first half with five points. It was Conlon Dent with two. Micah Germany had eight. Andreas Gordon had nine. And U Youthman Sharif finished with 10 points. So again, Dent with two. Schaefer, five. Germany, eight. Gordon, nine. And Sharif with 10 points in the first half. And that's where we stand at 34 to 15. First quarter was led by, was uh, really just Bishop Reedy blitzed them. 23 to seven was the score at the end of the first quarter. They went on to win the second quarter, 11 to eight to take a 34 to 15 lead here at halftime. We're gonna take another timeout. We'll have all of the second half action coming your way next on the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. How much can you afford to spend on a home? That's a good question. I'm Desi DeJohn, Assistant Vice President and Mortgage Loan Officer at the Savings Bank in Lancaster. It's important to know how much you can afford before you contact a real estate agent. Factors such as income, credit score, debt, and down payment can help determine how much a bank can lend you to buy a home. Getting pre-qualified is the best way to find out how much you can afford to spend on a home. You can apply to pre-qualify online anytime at the savingsbankohio.bank.
For the last 30 years, I've worked in Fairfield County. The beauty of working in this county is it's small enough that you get to know people on an individual level, that you get to do what you, the kind of work you want to do personally, but it's large enough that we have some resources and we have some ability to bring coalitions together to make some bigger changes. You have the benefits of a suburban community and Columbus isn't too far away if you want to get that urban experience. Plus, if I ever feel like I need to get away for a little bit, there's tons of great hiking around here. Well, Fairfield County is just a really different county, so it's very resource rich. There are so many people in similar and overlapping helping fields. They make excellent community partners. We all know each other and we don't compete with each other. Like agency-wide, we're all here to serve our clients. And you know someone everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, and so that I just feel like that helps it to get our clients the best care. So that's a big thing for me. Community, connections, collaboration. The Fairfield County Way. We here at Fairfield DD wish you a happy new year. March is right around the corner, and with it comes Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. This year, Fairfield DD is excited to share that we will have a variety of events to mark this important month. Our 14th annual Celebration of Possibilities will be held on Wednesday, March 20th at 6 p.m. at the Wigwam Event Center in Pickerington. So save the date. Join our mailing list or follow our social media so you can stay up to date on all the happenings. Bay Food Market is Fairfield County's source for high-quality, locally-sourced meats. The meat case is always full of quality, fresh beef, pork, gourmet burgers, and gourmet broths for you and your family to enjoy. Bay Food Market cures and smokes their own hams, bacon, and sausage. Visit Bay Food Market at the corner of Maple and Walnut Streets in Lancaster and discover the Bay Food Market difference. Open daily, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., closed Thursday and Sunday. Bay Food Market, proudly serving Fairfield County families for more than 90 years. Dagger Law has more than 110 years of experience in nearly every aspect of the law. When we're not just helping clients, we're helping the community. You'll see us at festivals, sporting events, and around town because we live and work here too. We are your neighbors and we want to help you when you need it. When we help each other, we're stronger. Our community is stronger. Creating a strong, vibrant, healthy, and safe community is everyone's responsibility. And we take the responsibility seriously. We are local. We are trusted. We are experienced. And we're back at Tom Petty Gymnasium, just about set for the second half. Bishop Reedy leads Bloom Carroll 34 to 15. Want to give a big shout out to our Interphase Video Productions crew tonight. Our producer director Josh Messerly, also uh, with Josh uh, pushing all the buttons and making our uh, graphics and replays go. That's uh, Donnie Ziegfeld. Our cameraman, there's Jason Roush, high up top, Tom Petty Gymnasium, and uh, down on the floor, Tom Russo. He's the one shooting the camera up at us right now. <laughs> but uh, Tom, there's Tom, gives you all the shots right down at the court, at court level. These guys do a great job, and we've got a busy, uh, busy few days uh saturday monday and then we're gonna have this saturday we've got a good one coming up this saturday as fisher catholic girls will be out at uh, amanda clear creek to take on the aces lady aces that should be a good one that should be i'm anxious to to watch uh see fisher catholic for the first time this year against a good amanda team yeah so bishop reedy will start with the basketball and the lead 34 to 15 youth youthman sharif will give it off to micah germany Sharif now, right side to Gordon. And a whistle and a foul away from the basketball on Bishop Reedy. They called it on Dalton Miller, his first. Jones, right side to Truex. Truex to the free throw line, now right back to Jones. And a whistle on a foul, this time on Sharif, I believe. 
Yes, it is. Yay. Too, too connected physically. On defense, you want less contact, Jerry. Two fouls for Sharif. Jones inbounds to Wyant. They'll swing it around to Schultz. Now Truex at the top for three. No good. Davis the rebound and put back, but a whistle and a foul. I believe Carson's going to be called for the foul. Yep. Fouls on the dogs, number 20, Carson Davis, his second team first of the third. Guess there was a reason he got that <laughs> rebound so easily and put back. We talk about that in football, why the penalty's <laughs> called sometimes. Yep. Left side, Miller. Now to Germany. You know, the other thing about this Bishop Reedy team, they're, they're pretty big. I mean, they are. they've got a lot of size. Basketball, they're and long. If you they're, look they're, at they're, Bloom they're, Carroll, they've got a, several guys uh, haven't even reached six foot yet. I mean, you look at uh, Bishop Reedy, and they only have two guys on their roster under six foot. Here's a three put up and in three for Jackson Wyant. Jackson Wyant. That's eight in the game for Jackson, 36 to 18 now. Miller gives it back out top to Germany, or Gordon rather. And now Sharif. Germany on the drive, shot's no good, but a foul gonna be called on Jackson Wyant, his first. So Micah Germany at the free throw line. Short on the first one. Second one up and good. Thirty-seven eighteen. Bulldogs trail it. Jones gets it to the top to Wyant. Just hit a three a little bit ago. Now Truex. Lost it momentarily. Gets it back to Jones. Jones will reset the offense. Take a double screen. And his pass almost stolen away. Nice drive by Wyant. And somehow fought for his own rebound. And a good head fake there. Shot no good. Carson Davis the put back. Yeah, really good possession on the boards for Carroll right there. Get three shots at it. 37 to 20. Bloom Carroll trying to claw back into this one. Schaefer, his three no good. Davis the rebound. Bloom Carroll quickly ahead the other way. Schultz, so swing it around now to Wyant. Jackson gives it to Carson Davis. He'll take the three. No good. And rebounded by the Knights. Gordon. Nice fake. Shot's no good. Rebounded by Jet Jones. Schultz drives. And an offensive foul going to be called on Carson Davis. That will be three on Carson. Here's the Dagger Law replay. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. You know, the rule that officials like to use is if, it pe if players are displaced, <laughs> and he displaced him. The announcement was made that the foul was on Truex, but it's actually on Davis. So Carson will stay into the game, stay in the game with three fouls, 440 to play in the third quarter. At this point, he's got to learn to play. Yep. Sharif being worked on by Park Truex. Left side now, Germany. Back to Sharif and back to Germany. 
Nice dump into Youthman Sharif. I think he was surprised he was so wide yeah. open. And Davis is lucky he didn't get his fourth foul right there. Yeah, I think I, I think um, Sharif hesitated, Jared. Yeah. He, you know, like you said, maybe he was surprised. Three Aiden Schultz for three. 37-23. what you do. You only got four minutes. You know, you got four minutes to go in the third. You want to try and win these four minutes. Good, good timeout by Coach Basuti. Bulldogs are leading this quarter 8-3 right now. Timeout on the floor. Silver Knights timeout. Full timeout. And let's say a big thanks to Buffalo Wild Wings. Thanks to Larry Tipton and the crew for great food, great service, and the best sports viewing in town. It's all at Buffalo Wild Wings in the Plaza Shopping Center on North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. Score from the JV game tonight. Bishop Reedy won that one 45 to 29. And I tell you what, that was a close game at halftime. I mean, we, we walked in at halftime and it, it was only a two-point game. And then Bishop Reedy uh, in the second half really played well. They've got some uh, some good young talent coming they do. up. Some of those guys dressing varsity, some good size as well on the JV team. Of course, the uh, tournament draw for on the boys side will be this Sunday the girls were last or just yesterday and the way it's done now the RPI ratings will change on a daily basis as these teams win and lose yeah and and you know really after this game when you look at the schedule for Carroll I mean they're going to have an opportunity to win every one of those games they may not win today but they've battled here in the third quarter got back to playing better more aggressive both ends of the floor Out of the timeout, it'll be Silver Knights basketball. They lead it 37-23. But uh, Bloom Carroll's picked up a little bit more offense in this, this quarter. So Coach Tony Basuti called the timeout. Here's Germany, long range three, got it. He's been perfect every, every time he's taken that shot, Jared, except the one at the end of the quarter there where he was off balance a little bit. But other, every, everyone's true. 12 points for Micah, Germany. Here's Davis, lob pass over to Jones. Now back out to Wyand. Truex will take the three at the top of the key. Hit the front of the iron, saved and bounced twice. <laughs> Good hustle by the Bulldogs. Now Davis takes the long three and drains it. Three pointer, Carson Davis. Standing on the MSL logo, drain that one. Forty to twenty-six, two fifty-one and counting here in the third quarter. Germany, left side to Gordon. Good fake by Sharif, and he's fouled. Foul is called on Park Truex. That is his second. Carson Davis a little bit shaken up. I like when post players take their time, but I really think that Sharif can catch and just go and finish. He's athletic and quick enough to finish that pass and catch. First free throw for Sharif is up and good. Especially when he has the guy on his hip on the top side. I think he can just go ahead and finish, Jared. Especially with a 6'8 body in there. Second free throw also good. 14 points for Youthman Sharif. And he'll take a break. Conlon Dent comes into the ball game. 42-26, Reedy. Wyant brings it up with no pressure. Drive to the elbow, kick it back out to Schultz. Here's Schultz to Truex. Now right side, Wyant. Jackson. Gives it back to Schultz. Jet Jones to the elbow, back to Davis. Davis, shot from the elbow, no good. Rebounded by the Bulldogs, Aiden Schultz. Three up for Jet Jones, no good. Excellent block out. <clears throat> Micah Germany with the rebound for the Silver Knights. Dent gives it to Miller, and now they'll dump it down in to Schaefer, his shot no good, rebounded by the Bulldogs. <laughs> Minute and 40 and counting here in the third quarter. 
Truex dumps it down to Davis. Davis, there's a nice strong yeah. move. Off the glass. And a good no Davis. call. Yep. I mean, there was no, there was no excessive contact. 10 points for Carson Davis. Yeah, he doesn't have to be complicated in there, Jared, but his moves just got to be solid yeah. with an A and a B. That's all you need. Seven of his ten are in this half. Makes it 42-28. Trying to spread him out a little bit. Overplay, Germany. Good move by Dalton Miller, but he lost the basketball momentarily, and then it was tipped out. Here's a replay. Yeah, watch here. No hesitation. Step. Took him to pin. the right, then yep. go to the left. Yep. Little drop step. I'd like to see that more often out of Carson. Oh, absolutely. He should be a player that you can play anywhere on the floor and yeah. be successful. Germany has it stolen away. Jackson Wyant. Wyant all the way to the hoop. Off the glass, no good, but he's going to the free throw line. As Micah Germany going to be called for the foul. Yeah, you cross the ball in front of a defender. That's what happens at this level. They take it from you. That one was coming right at you into your living room as Tom Russo right down on top of that one on the court. First free throw for Jackson, up and good. Give him nine in the game with that free throw. They can cut it to within 12 here with this free throw. Well, they've just played better this quarter yeah. too, Jared. I mean, you know, the score <laughs> obviously matters and the points, but they're just playing better. They look good this quarter. Schaefer, right side to Germany, long three. Wow, <laughs> he doesn't miss. He hasn't missed too many tonight, that's for sure. That's his fourth three of the night. 45-29, down to 22 seconds. Three up for the Bulldogs, no good. Rebounded by the Silver Knights. <clears throat> Gordon gives it off to Larger. Now swing it left side, back to Gordon. Down to nine seconds. Gordon shot from the free throw line, no good. Hustle rebound by Larger. They'll get it back out for three. Good at the buzzer for Caden Schaefer. That's just a momentum killer. 48 to 29, it was just 12 points yeah. just moments ago. Now that's how, that's how the threes, when you take them in sync and rhythm here, watch Schaefer stick this. Good follow through. If you're going to shoot it, shoot it to make it. So we had just talked about how well Bloom Carroll had played and that they were outplaying Bishop Reedy, and Reedy goes on a run there at the end of the quarter. Yeah. They actually win that quarter 14-13. Well, you know, but as I said, they're guard strong, and um, I, I really think, you know, when you when you watch them, um, Micah Germany just kind of makes them go. Yeah. You know, he steadies them. Yeah, they know he can handle the ball, and obviously he's shown a propensity to stick the three, too, tonight. As a reminder, you can find live and past games on our YouTube channel. Just search for CLN, your hometown connection on YouTube, to find games and other local programming. While you're there, make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any action. Also, if you're on Facebook and Twitter, which is now called X2, Check us out on those social media platforms. Just look, search for Interphase Video Productions. Glad you're with us tonight. We had one on Saturday night, a good one, a girls matchup. Bloom Carroll defeating Amanda Clear Creek out at Amanda. Got it uh, just two days later, we're back in action. And then we'll be uh, a few days off and have another one on Saturday night. Yeah, and then we, we'll see what happens with the tournament draws and uh, you know what we're gonna do with two or three games. That'll be fun. Trying to think of uh, what I saw on the tournament draws for, on the girls' side. They had theirs yesterday. I did see that Lancaster drew Walnut Ridge. Don't know much about that one and how that one will turn out. But I believe Lancaster might be able to host a, at least a first-round game. Shot put up no good for Gordon. Rebounded by the Silver Knights, and the foul going to be called on Bloom Carroll. Park Truex is called for it. That's his third. So Youthman Sharif will go to the free throw line. First one's up and good. Youthman was at the free throw line a couple times in the first half and didn't make any. 
And so far in the second half, he's three for three. But you know. I've never seen a lefty that can't shoot, though. <laughs> Told you that he's before. He's perfect. Yeah. Perfect in the second half. Makes it 50 to 29. Silver Knights. Yeah, a little matchup zone here. See how well they communicate. That's the key to playing this stuff well. Truex backs his way down, gets it back out for three. No good for Wyant, rebounded by Sharif. Look at the big man go yeah. with the basketball. He can move with it. Here's a three on the other end, up and good for Henry Larger. Now they'll give him a two. Yep. He was close. 52-29. Davis, he was way downtown on that one. Ball saved in bounds, went off Sharif's face and out of bounds. He'll stay with the Bulldogs. <laughs> that hurts, man. He'll shake it off and stay in the game. Youthman Sharif, just a sophomore. Yeah. He's an impressive player. Bulldogs with the basketball. Here's Davis at the elbow. Now the 6.45. Shot put up and yeah. in by Jackson Wyatt. He's yeah. had a good second half. He, he's had a good game overall. Yeah, he has. Um, he made a great what you call a slide into the back of the zone, cutting, flashing the high post from the backside wing. That's, that's just a good play. Nice drive there for the Silver Knights. Shot was no good. Saved in bounds into the hands of Carson Davis. Here come the Bulldogs. Davis tried to get it over in the corner to Schultz, but it's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Bloom Carroll. And a whistle and a timeout. And our producer, director, Josh Messerly, kindly sent me some of the... Uh, the girls, actually all of the girls uh, matchups. In Division One. it'll be Lancaster as the 20th seed. will take on, they'll be at Walnut Ridge, who's the 19th seed. So they did not get a first round home game, but uh, that should be a good one. Yes. A 20 versus a 19. They'll play on February 21st at 7 p.m. In Division Two, the Bloom Carroll girls got the four seed. They will host Whitehall on February 24th at 1 p.m. In the Southeast District in Division Two, Fairfield Union is the 14th seed. They will host Wellston on February 12th at 7 p.m. Division Three, Amanda Clear Creek. They are the three seed and will host Northridge, who's the 23 seed, on February 20th at 7. Liberty Union is the 19 seed. They uh, will have to go to Harvest Prep, who's the eight seed. That one on February 20th at 7. Burn Union uh, will play a third time against Fisher Catholic, who is the number two seed. That one will be on February 21st at 7 p.m. at Fisher Catholic. And Fairfield Christian will host... Delaware Christian, Fairfield Christian's the number seven seed, that game being on February 20th at 7 p.m. And that's how the girls' draw went on Sunday. The boys' draw will be coming up this Sunday. Should have some teams uh, with a chance for some home games. Of course, Bloom Carroll, Fairfield Union might have a shot at a home game. Right. Fisher Catholic is right now 500. I talked to Coach James yesterday, and he feels like if it was, if it was today, it would, they would be about a six seed. Okay. 6.06 to play in the ball game here, 52-31. Bishop Reedy with the lead. Truex to the corner, now back to Wyant. Yeah, you got to do it. There you go. There's, I was just going to say, you got you to flash into the middle. Truex is three, no good. Rebounded by the Silver Knights. Germany. We'll bring it up. He's had an outstanding game. He can really shoot the basketball. Three. Uh, he's got four threes. I'm. I, I'm pretty sure that he's four for four. Well, I saw him at the one. If you remember, I think he shot the one at the end of the quarter down there when they had the ball in the corner, which was kind oh, okay. of. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. Shoot it from off balance and everything. Coach Basuti going to take a timeout. This team leading at 52-31. Just, did, just didn't like what he saw there in that that possession. You're always, always coaching, coaching them up. Yeah. You always are. I, I mean, you know, I know sometimes people in the stands will go, what are you doing? It's just this many points or whatever. You coach how you coach. And you know what? There's still games to play, so you're still teaching. Tim, we want to say thanks to the coaches uh, for these two teams, yes. Ryan Davis from Bloom, Bloom Carroll and Tony Basuti from Bishop Reedy. You know, it's not often that the boys uh, play on a Monday night, especially after a Saturday night game, and both of them 
were very uh, uh, respectful and very uh, and just open and honest and were able to talk to you on the phone, which is you know, that's, that's tough after a, having a, a Saturday game turn around play Monday. But to be able to talk no. to you and give you some information, that's great. I really appreciate both of them, as, as all the coaches. Uh, I've been great this year. And I, Coach Davis and Coach Basuti, like you said, played Saturday night. Yeah. And uh, they talked to me before their Saturday night game, but they took the time. And I don't, you know, I'm not one to look ahead. Right. And I know as a coach, I, you know, I didn't want to fringe if they didn't want to talk to me before because, you know, used to say if you don't prepare for the next one, you, you'll lose that one. So, yeah. but uh, no, outstanding and just open and transparent. Giving me a really good feel for it. Yep. Sharif lost the basketball out of bounds. It'll go back to Bloom Carroll. <clears throat> As you said, you're always teaching and coaching. I didn't see what it was, but Coach Basuti was not happy about no. something. He was talking to the official right out of that timeout. Here's Truex. His three, no good. Good rebound by Caden Schaefer yeah. of the Silver Knights. Here's a three for Andreas Gordon, no good. What a put back there, Caden yeah. Schaefer. He's a solid player also. Six foot Schaefer. four junior. Yeah, an outstanding defender. But had some offense tonight. We saw him hit the three earlier. Obviously this is a team that's gonna lose Micah Germany uh, and yeah. Josh Paul, who we haven't mentioned. Carson but uh, Josh Paul out uh, with a concussion. Yeah. Uh, who's averaging nine points a game. They're gonna lose those two, but this is gonna be a good team sure is. for a while. Carson Davis hit that last yeah. shot for was that a three? I didn't see. No, it, it was a two. it was a really good zone zone shot. Caught the ball to mid post, faced up and put it in the hole. Davis has nine points in this half. There's the three on the other that end, the or the uh, actually That's the Schaefer. three attempt, yeah. and then Schaefer, just a really good job. Well, nobody put a body on him, yep. and you know that's a good job by him going from A to B to get the ball. Luke Carroll foul was called on Aiden Schultz, his second, as Germany hits the first free throw. Dalton Miller comes back in for the Silver Knights. Youthman Sharif, he's played a good game tonight. Going to get a break here with 4.13 to go in the game. His team up 55-33. 16 points Sharif has. You mentioned he's just a sophomore. That free throw right there gives Micah Germany, Germany 17 points in the game. Yeah, swing the ball here. There you go. Flash in the middle. Wyant. Takes the three from the top of the key. No good. And a whistle and a foul going to be called. We call it on Truex. That's the fourth on Park. Fifty-six, thirty-three, three fifty-two to play in the ball game. Germany has it stripped. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Jet Jones, his third. Yeah, you step through. You got to be a little stronger with the basketball. Silver Knight inbound comes in, and then get it right back to Germany. Now Gordon, yeah, great nice pass. pass over to Conlon Dent. You know, Conlon Dent, he hasn't played a whole lot, but when he's been in there, he's had an impact. Number That's 44. all you ask for your players coming off the bench. Long three put up, no good for Wyant. Ball loose on the floor, and then just a hustle foul there. It wasn't nothing intentional. Just Jones hustling after the ball the fell on the Silver Knights player, so... Four fouls on Jet Jones. And that'll put Dalton Miller at the free throw line for the Silver Knights. <clears throat> first one's no good. Correction, Jet Jones has four personal fouls. Defense! 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 
Second one for Miller is good. Yeah, he stayed still on the foul line that time. The last time he was a lot of movement. 3.15 and counting here in this one, 59-33. It's been all Silver Knights all night. Bloom Carroll got it as close as 12. But then Bishop Reedy just went on a run there to end the third quarter. There's a good hard shot yeah. by Aiden Schultz. Yeah. Excellent drive. Gordon being double teamed and trapped. Gets it to Miller. Nice then pass. wide open Conlon Dent. Basket by Dent. Great pass from Miller. 61-35. In the corner, it's Wyant. Dump it into Davis. Turn around, jumper is in. Carson Davis. Fifteen for Carson. At our next stoppage, we will get our players of the game for both these teams. There's Germany. Good ball movement. Carson Miller, or rather Dalton Miller, Miller. will finish it. He's got three points in the last minute. There's a steal by Germany. And then the ball tipped out of bounds by Wyant. There's three subs coming in for the Silver Knights. It'll be Eli Brickner, also Mikey Daniels, and I believe Henry Larger comes back in. Some subs coming in for Bloom Carroll as well. Inbound pass comes into Mikey Daniels. He played really well in the JV game. We got a chance to see him for the Silver Knights JV team. Played pretty well. Five foot seven freshman. We've got a whistle and a double dribble violation on the Silver Knights. Got a whistle and another sub coming in for Bishop Reedy as Conlon Dent comes out. Marco Small comes in. So does Austin Vaccarisi. 63-37. <clears throat> Bishop Reedy leads this one. Bloom Carroll with the basketball with all new players in there. Vaccarisi is the one as well that we saw in the JV game who played very well underneath the ba basket. This is him right here. Good move, puts it up and in. Down to a minute 16 to play. In the corner is Aiden Schultz. And a whistle and a foul. Let's get to our players of the game. First of all, we'll do the Bloom Carroll player of the game first, brought to you by Bay Food Market. Stop in at Bay's and check out their weekly gourmet burger and brat selection and their weekend steak sale specials at Bay Food Market at the corner of Walnut and Maple Streets in Lancaster. Honestly, I, I think, um, to be honest with you, I think Jackson Wyant's been the most consistent the whole game. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that Carson's had a really good second half, much more comfortable playing well. Park plays really hard and does a lot of good things, but I, I think Jackson Wyant really stood out tonight. Congratulations, number five, Jackson Wyant, our Bloom Carroll player of the game. For on the other side for Bishop Reedy, they got a shot and score for Marco Small, and another one up and in for Mikey Daniels. Let's do our Bloom Carroll player of the game as. Not looking like we're going to get a uh, a stoppage here. Bloom Carroll player of the game. You mean the Reedy. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Bishop Reedy player of the game brought to you by the Savings Bank, where community always comes first. The Savings Bank, proud of our heritage, founded by local people, committed to serving individuals and businesses in southeastern Ohio. Learn more at thesavingsbank.com. Well, they've got three guys in double figures, but I really, like I said, I, I think – Mike of Germany makes him go. He yeah. runs the whole thing. Um, Sharif had a great game tonight, uh, played really well, but the two guards played really well, and Mike just stands out, Jared, how good he is. Congratulations, number five, Mike of Germany from Bishop Reedy, our player of the game for them, brought to you by the Savings Bank. 
So 21.5 seconds showing on the clock. 69-37, Bishop Reedy with the lead. They've got 10 guys in the scorebook tonight to Bloom Carroll's five. Down to 11 seconds. They will just hold it and run out the clock and take the victory 69 to 37 on the road. A good victory for Coach Tony Basuti and his crew. Made a statement early. Yes, they and, did. And came ready to go and jumped jumped on Bloom Carroll in the first quarter, what, 23-7, and then just continued to play well the whole game. Taking a look at some scoring, first of all, for the Bloom Carroll Bulldogs, Jet Jones finishes with two points, Aiden Schultz with five, Park Truex with five. It was Jackson Wyant with 11. He was our Bloom Carroll player of the game, and Carson Davis had 15 points. Keep in mind, he only had three at the, at the, ha at the half, had a really good second half. So, again, it's, Jet, it's Jones two, Schultz five, Truex five, Wyant 11, and Davis 15. For the Bishop Reedy Silver Knights, as I mentioned, 10 guys in the scoring column. It was... Mikey, Lar uh, Mikey Daniels with two points. Henry Larger had two. Marco Small had two. Austin Vaccarisi had two. It was Dalton Miller with three. Conlon Dent played a really good game off the bench. He had six points. It was Andreas Gordon with nine. Caden Schaefer had 10. Youth, uh, Youthman Sharif with 16. And Micah Germany with 17. So again for the Knights, Schaefer 10, Gordon 9, Miller 3, Germany 17, Daniels 2, Larger 2. Small, two, Vaccarisi, two, Sharif, 16, and Conlon Dent, six. And I'm sure that Coach Tony Basuti very pleased with uh, the play from guys like six, seven, and eight because he was playing without one of his uh, top players and starter, Josh Paul. Yeah, he's got to be real, real pleased tonight. I thought they executed well on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, he, he said, you know, they're just trying to develop some depth and some guys got to get a little better. But, you know, tonight they, they looked really good from the get-go. Next up for the Bulldogs, they will uh, – Host, or, uh, host Amanda Clear Creek that game uh, later on this week. And for the Silver Knights, they will host Marysville. Uh, so, shoe for us. We're going to take a few days off and be back uh, in action on Saturday. We'll be out at Amanda Clear Creek for a girls' matchup, a really big one. Uh, should be a good one. Uh, really nothing – there's nothing really to play for as, as, in terms of league. They're Buc a mid-state league Buckeye, Amanda Clear Creek, mid-state league Cardinal for – uh, Fisher Catholic, but both of those want some bragging rights. Uh, two really good teams. Yeah, they are two outstanding teams, well coached, and uh, have, have made an identity to other people about how good they are. We'll have that one for you on Saturday night. That one to tip off, I believe, at 7 o'clock. want to say thanks to our Interphase Video Productions crew tonight. Josh Messerly, Donnie Ziegfeld, Jason Rausch, and Tom Russo. Once again, your final score, Bishop Reedy 69, Blue Carroll 37. For our entire Interphase Video Productions crew and Tim Shoemaker, I'm Jared Stewart. Have yourselves a great night, everybody. IVP Sports presents the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Buckeye Toyota, Bay Food Market, Fairfield County Adam H, The Savings Bank, Fairfield Medical Center, The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield Federal, The Carriage Company, Fairfield DD, Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, Dagger Law, and North Body Shop.